No. All right. Another so, day, another dollar. Another day, another dollar. Hey. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if it's a lot of dollars to be made out here that some people say that it is, but it's it is what it is, though. But uh, but let's get into this topic, man. Um, this this the topic of the N word has been a hot topic for years and years and years. Uh huh. Um, what brought what what brought our conversation up is this young man was on a Kendra G show. It's one of her DJ friends. He's in a he's in a hip hop community, and he went out on a date with uh with a female, but he let it the female know that you know he used the N word a lot. You know he used it around his friends. He's in the hip hop community, and he he feels that. The N word is not a racist word. Listen, mm. listen to this conversation. Use the N word, and she said that you what? said. Okay. Hello. No, I didn't. Okay. She said that you said that none of your black friends have ever talked to you about that, and that's not true because you and I have had that conversation before. Yeah, only because of that. But everybody that I'm around never has a problem. But, but listen, Kendra, let, let me defend myself. She said she didn't like it, right? She said, this is on the phone before anything. She didn't like me saying that word. I said, listen, that's me. I've had girls before that didn't like it and I got, and, and I, 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 I just stopped talking to them because that's just me. Like, it's not I'm, it's not in a racist way. It's just it's just the way of life. Like, it's just a word that in the hip hop culture, that's what we use. It's not it's not racist in any any form. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, I can try. Well, no, the N word is a racist word. You know no. that. That's not in the hip hop culture. Well, because, no, no, N word, hold on, real quick. Another all right, so brother man says that the N word is not a racist word, man. Now listen, I I I had a friend in the neighborhood over there on 79th and St. Clair. You know the mm -hmm. hood. You know the hood. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know predominantly black people. You know we had a few, a handful, a few. White people that that stayed I'm in. I say it was it was a little versatile back then. Yeah, I, I say about a handful, but there was uh -huh. this there was this one guy, you know, one one of our friends. He was John Kaluba. Do you remember him? No. John Kaluba was so the John Kaluba was the white guy. He was more so Junior's friend than mine, but we all gravitated together in the same clique him and him and junior went to the same uh uh same school the same christian mm -hmm. school or whatever uh mm -hmm. private school or whatever you want to call it back in the day right mm -hmm. um, i don't remember i don't recall us when we all hang out with each other and we you know chill and everything mm -hmm. I don't recall him ever using that word. Right. But if he was to use that word, mm -hmm. I don't think we would have had a problem with it considering the area that we grew up in. I mean, he had black people, in, you know, living across the street, black people next door, black people on the other side. So yeah. he kind of like grew up in the er in, in that area where the constant word is just used freely amongst uh, amongst those people. But Keisha, mm. this dude says it's not uh it's not a racist word. What, what what do you got to say about that? See, this is where I'm torn at. It is a racist word, but. The example that you just used, I could see why he talked like that because he'd be around black people all the time. Mm -hmm. And he feel like he one of us, basically. You know what I'm saying? We gave him a pass. Mm -hmm. Even though he white. You know what I'm saying? So this is why I'm kind of torn at. It is a racist word. They still shouldn't use it. But then at the end of the day, I feel like, to be honest, we shouldn't use it either, but we do. So I just don't like it. I don't like, I don't like the word, period. Now it's a because for me it is racist. Now it's a now of course it's a derogatory word, 
But black yeah. people, black people use it, we use use it, all it the freely. Time. Like we use we it. Do. We use it freely. We use it amongst ourselves in the in we the hip hop community. I right. mean, the word just just flows. Like it's just it does. it's part of our vocabulary. You know what I'm right. saying? So yeah. so when how, that's why I can't say nothing about them using it because we do it all the time. But here's the here's the thing though. Here's the thing. We know when 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 the other side when when the other side when they get mad and they get angry and they you know in the fighting mode, mm -hmm. then, then when they use the word, it becomes derogatory. Right. But isn't isn't it fair for us when it when we're mad at one another and we're calling each other that word? That's a that's that's why I a said, derogatory word, right? Mm -hmm. That's why I said we get married at them, but we use it like it's like it's not. So, in your opinion, why but we quit the fight when they do it? Right, right. Mm -hmm. So. Again, like I said, I, I know why, you know, we would get upset, especially mm -hmm. if a white person is mad at us and then they turn around and they go to that word. They they, they go mm -hmm. to the N word and we know that when they say it in that type of tone, then we know that it's derogatory towards us. Yeah. And I just don't know why it's a difference when they say it when they mad versus when they just regular talk. To me, it ain't no different because it's still the N word. Mm. But people act like it's something different because of the way how it's used. It shouldn't be used, period. DJ Khaled, the people of Miami used to allow him to go around saying that word. He felt so comfortable. But when he got on the national stage, he had people coming at him like, homie, don't play that. And ever since then, DJ Khaled dropped the word. Mark Wahlberg, I'm thinking that he learned his lesson too. So anyway, let's keep listening so we can find out what happened on this date. The thing is, she chose him. Out of all the people in her DMs, she chose him. Uh-huh, so she went down to Florida to get her swirl on and now she's complaining about the N-word. Like, okay, what else happened? The N-word is always gonna be a racist word for a black person when a non-black person is saying that. So I, I, you, you're you a grown man, you gotta make your own decision, but you have to receive that. There are black people who right, will but, never but be I, comfortable, yeah, there will never be comfortable with non-black people saying that word. It, but if we, if we, if we... Now she said all black people feel uncomfortable when a non-black person uses that word but is that is that the case in like you said before and how the word is used that's what it sounds like to me it's like it's not okay if you're not black you shouldn't be using it mm -hmm. but it's okay for us to use it that's how it comes across to me to everybody I don't like it period I mean, I, I, I say it, you know, I ain't going to, you know, I, I, mm -hmm. I say, you know, I say it, you know. I'm not going to sit here and lie and say I don't say it. Yeah, I, I, I say I'd it. I be lying, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, mean, I be turning around like, nigga. But there's, okay, so. Yeah, them. But, uh, okay, so let's, let's switch it a little bit before we get back to that. Now, the way I say it is different without the ER. Why is, why, why is there such a variance between the hard ER and the A at the end? I don't think it is. But some probably will be able to differ. That's why I said it's okay for us to say it, but not them. I guess we're not, when we just talking amongst each other, we're like, oh, nigga, shit, blah, blah, blah. Get yeah, but see, you 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 just it, they ain't coming off like that, right? But you you just said it. You you say it without the er though. You yeah, see, you see what I'm saying? Well, yeah, I get it. Right. So but, what what would it be? What would it be different if I be talking to my friends that use the word and I'd be like, "Hey, my." With the hard er, would that would they feel some kind of way of me saying it that way instead of saying it with the a? We just don't talk like that. <laughs> we'll never say it like that. They do. Mm. 
right. I think what it is is we know when they say it, we we know what they're they're implying. They're being disrespectful. Mm-hmm. That's the issue. They they trying to shit on us like this is back in the day still. Mm-hmm. Like we still in slavery days. That's the way they use it. If they say that word, that's how they coming off. Mm-hmm. So that's why they get their ass beat. But when we say it, that's not we're not using it like that. We're just using it as a figure of speech. We just talk. You know what I'm saying? But when the way how we're using it, that's the issue. Hmm. I don't think they should be saying they ain't say Oh, wait a minute. I think I lost you. Hold on right quick. They can't say it period. Hold on. Okay, there you they go. can't. All right, so you say they shouldn't. You 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 say they shouldn't. You you saying the other side shouldn't say it. Period. But you they say, shouldn't say it at all. They shouldn't say it at all, and we shouldn't say it. Period. I don't think we should, but we do. And I've been guilty of that myself, so I can't say nothing. Exactly. Same here. And I I, I, I can't even I can't even say nothing to that. I, I don't I don't even think that we gonna never stop saying it. You no, know? we're not. I, I don't think we're gonna never stop but saying it. But I think it. that I know that every time they say it, it's gonna end up with them getting their ass beat. Unless they're Because you of see yours. them videos all the time. No, it, it, no, they can't even do that in my no. They can't even be no friend of mine saying that word. No. But that's what I'm, I'm not saying. okay with that. But that's what I'm saying, though. I mean, you know, they 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 grew up in the neighborhood. They grew up around you. We we grew up. Uh, we we grew up around you. That's all they know. They go to the black school. That's all they hear. That's all they know. My and we n- do get some friends like that. My my nick my my my, my mm, 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 from the other side. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. it's just we have like, some friends that do that. It's just like you said, we give them a pass. Yeah. So is is it safe to give them a pass? I mean, we will have to give them a pass if they if they grew up in our in our neighborhood, right? I mean, it's up to the, it's up to them. To it depends, but but it's up to them to make it like if they should use it or not. Yeah, that's a tough one, bro. I think, of course, we're gonna let them. We're gonna get them a pass because of who they are. We know that they cool and that they ain't racist, so we give them a pass. That's why I said I think it's the way that it's used. That's the issue. Now let me ask you. Now let me ask you this: If you cool with them, y'all, 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 you know, y'all buddy, buddy, best friends, or whatever, whatever, mm-hmm. should they ask to use the word? Should they pull you to a side and say, "Hey, Keisha, um, I know me and you good friends and everything, and you know we girls, and you know we 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 grew up together and all like that. Is it all right that I use the N word with you?" No, don't ask. If we gelling like that, just let it flow. I don't want you to stop and ask me. Mm. That shit corny. Don't ask me that. If we been friends for years, like you gave the example of you and Junior growing up with old boy down the way, mm-hmm. that's how he gonna talk anyway, because he grew up down the way. Right. So when he say, nigga, y'all ain't taking it as him being racist. I said, just like the example that you used, well, old boy down the way, when he said, you don't take it as disrespect. Mm-hmm. You don't, you know, you know he cool. He ain't no racist. You know what I'm saying? So he grew up down the way. That's how he talked. All right. I think they got, so, I, I think they got a little bit more to say. Hold on right quick. Mm-hmm. Let me stop this just before she even comes at, I'm going to say, I can try to cut back, but it's going to be said. You can't be mad when you get here and I say it. Cause we already had this discussion. Okay, that's true. If, right? if, if if you said it before she came and she knew you said it, and I'll said, give you right. that. I'll give right. you that. But you do have to understand no, no, that. I, I, yeah, I black people, people are never gonna be okay with that. Some people, no, not listen. I, Kendra, you know the people I'm around, and they have no problem with it. Not saying all. Not saying all. If you feel that way, that's how you feel. I can't change that. 
And I'm also mm -hmm. not going to stop. That's me. But anyway. Yeah. So he was saying the N word before they even met up. Now. All right. So. Yeah, that's that's I think that's it on that because they, they cut right back into that bougie ass date. But the topic on uh on the brother and sister time is is the N word is is it all right for the other side to use the N word freely? And or I believe him when he say that that ain't true. I got people that I be around that don't have a problem with because they know he cool like that. And I believe that. But then you have some people that that's not going to be cool with it. It's like, you know, not everybody's going to be good with that. But they probably don't have that kind of relationship like that with him either. So it's different. It depends on the relationship. Well, I don't know. I, I agree with you. You know, we we should never, you know, we should never use the word you know, as, as freely as, as we use it, but we're going to continue to use it for whatever case we're going to, we're going to enter, we're going to interact the word in whatever we're going to speak on, whether we're going to direct and, it. And, and I'm, and I'm about to say some real quick that, you know, somebody might not agree with, but it's just my opinion. It's kind of similar to black lives matter. Mm. How we out here marching and all this stuff holding up signs for my Black Lives Matter, but then we kill each other every day. You that, understand what I'm saying? That, so that's, that's a topic for a whole nother subject. You understand man. what I'm saying? But, but I'm just yeah, saying. I understand. It's kind of, you know, I we, we, we it, doing all that, but then shit, we'll kill each other in a heartbeat. We, you know, that's a whole nother subject that uh, brother and sister time going to talk about. But uh, yeah. but Keisha, man, thank you very much as always. No problem. You know, we're going to come on and uh, chop about uh, chop it up about simple stuff. And oh all yeah, like for that. sure. You know what I'm saying? For Brothers, sure, bro. Brother, sister, time. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what we do. All right. Well, I'm about to go in and let you get back to work. And uh, oh, I'm about yeah. to go in and uh, finish moseying down down the street. Until next time, everybody, y'all take it easy. The best conversation starts over here on a Lockout Man podcast show. That is what's up. If you guys want to get in on a conversation, y'all know what to do. Hit that number, 216-600-2090. We'll get it in. If y'all have any videos, y'all have any comments, y'all have anything that y'all want me to react on or talk about, yo, send them to me via text. That's 216-600-2090. And if it's interesting, I will get it in and get it out there for you guys. Until next time, this is Lockout Man with his little sister talking brother sister time. And we're out. Peace. Always wanted to be famous, just being